Ready to help. Tonight, the Tennessee National Guard is at Memphis area hospitals, including Baptist and Methodist University. We know that ultimately these people are our neighbors, our co-workers, our friends. Clarissa Richardson is an officer in charge. She says 68 National Guard members are at the hospitals working 12 hour shifts. Others assisting the Memphis Fire Department and at the Pipkin building giving vaccines. <laughs> We have both medics and administrative people in this helping out. And the medics are like EMT, so they can do blood, draw blood, IVs, transport patients, and we just help out wherever the hospital needs us. We do IVs, EKGs, um, lab draws. When ER manager Patrick McDonough learned the guard would be helping his team at Baptist Memorial Collierville. I was just thrilled. I was elated. Uh, we need all the help we can get these days and the ICUs are full and as younger and more people are getting sick that it possibly could have been avoided. It has put a strain on resources. He says at noon the inpatient census was 67. 25 of those people COVID-19 positive. Staff does their best, but with the guard here, they can extend their reach of timely care. The guard is here for Tennessee for any uh, disaster or pandemic that occurs. We're here to support Tennesseans. Richardson says with the support comes a sense of pride, dealing with grateful patients. They thank you for your service. And so the patients are more than happy to um, that we're here and that we're helping out. So it just makes me swell up in the inside to say, hey, I'm making a difference. I'm making a difference. We all are making a difference. Yeah, Greg, I think that's right. Everyone making a difference. The staff and the National Guard, they're really saying that that help couldn't come soon enough. And Richardson says they'll be here for as long as they're needed. We're live in Collierville tonight, Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. All right, standing watch in a